So following receipt of these searches, what do the lender solicitors and the borrower solicitors need to do to facilitate completion? Um, following receipt of the searches, um, the lender solicitor will need to review those searches, uh, look to see whether there are any issues and any potential solutions if issues are revealed. Uh, the lender solicitor will then need to produce a report on title, which is a comprehensive document setting out any issues with the property, any solutions we've identified. It will also go into the buildings insurance policy that's in place. So what we'll do is we'd look at the valuation report and we'll look at the reinstatement value and we'll compare that with the value, the value of insurance. Uh, we would also look at the risks that have been insured. I did mention earlier that certain searches would reveal certain things such as flood risk or subsidence risk we would need to ensure that the building's insurance policy covered those risks. Um, we would also need to report on occupation. This can be very important as rental stream can serve as payment of the interest. Uh, it can also serve as payment of capital throughout the term of the loan. Um, to use two extreme examples, you may have a property in Regent Street that is dilapidated and has a multitude of different traders coming in uh, where there is not necessarily any reliability of rental income. That property may, for example, have a greater value being vacant as it does being let. You may, on the other hand, have a huge warehouse in Penzance which is let to a government for 50 years. In that scenario, the building itself may be poor, the location may not be great, but you've essentially got a government-backed bond for the next 50 years. Uh, so the rental income stream there is key, and that would be what the valuer has valued the property on. So we do need to look at that quite carefully, and then refer a report to both the lender and also the valuer, as there may be discrepancies between what the valuer has seen and what the lender solicitor has seen in the documentation, um, and it's important to bottom out any issues at that stage and we will need confirmation from the valuer that there is no impact on the value of the property as a result of the lender solicitor's findings. Uh, we would then need to negotiate a solicitor's undertaking. Uh, a solicitor's undertaking is a promise from one solicitor to the other to deliver certain things or take certain course of action. These are heavily negotiated letters of undertaking because the consequences of a breach can be very serious. A court, for example, could order specific performance or it could order payment of damages. Uh, as such, it can take some time to negotiate those and a borrower should be aware uh, that when the reporting is complete, it's not the end of the story. Um, once we reach completion, we need to carry out certain searches on the day of completion. So if it's an individual borrower, we need to ensure that the borrower is not, has not been declared bankrupt and there are no bankruptcy issues. So we do carry out a bankruptcy search immediately before or on the day of completion. Uh, if the borrower is a corporate entity, we will need to carry out a insolvency check at the company's house, the, the online register. And we'll also need to take, carry out a company's court search. Uh, company's court searches reveal any winding up petitions as against that company. It can be quite frustrating for a borrower on the day of completion when they're desperate to get their money because company's court searches are carried out by way of telephone calls to the central index uh, and it can take hours to get through to someone at the central index to check that that corporate entity is clear. Uh, when we reach completion, um, borrow gets their money and then the lender solicitor has to attend to the registration of the charging documents at both company's house if it's a corporate and certainly the land registry in all cases. Um, any charge registered, against, registered as against the register at the land registry will alert third parties to the presence of a charge registered against that title and it will be subject to certain restrictions preventing dealing with that property without the consent of the lender who is the charger as against, chargee as against the title.